Can we get political real quick for for a quick second? Uh, Do it. it. Because we we had our 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 first NBA championship team since 2016 go to the White House. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Shout out to Giannis, uh, Drew Holiday, and uh, Chris Middleton, and the rest of those guys. Brooke Lopez, uh, Bobby Portis. Uh, shout out to all of those guys. They returned to the White House. I wonder, you know, what happened, you know, Eric, that you know. The things changed and, 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 and NBA teams are going back to the White House now. Is it something different you know, than the last yeah, couple know, of years? We, we <laughs> know, there was a um, there was a complete lack of class mm. within the Oval Office okay. in that house, and and you know players from all walks of life felt that it wasn't appropriate. And I think that's the part that people got to remember too. It wasn't just the black and brown athlete; it was players from all walks of life mm-hmm. who said, mm, "Nah, I'm not gonna go." Yeah, and now, now players are, are saying, you know what? It it I means know. something, right? It means something. It's it's a significant moment in my life. I want to go and meet, you know, the leader of the free world. Yeah, absolutely. Um, big shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks again. Um, <laughs> you know, I hope you guys enjoyed your visit to the White House. Um, you know, I'm sure President uh, Biden and, and, and Vice President Kamala Harris welcomed you guys with open arms. Um, and it was, I'm sure it was a great day because everybody loves when the NBA goes to the white house. Like that's one of the most big, especially, you know, when Barack was in office, that was like a big thing when the NBA players going to visit the white house. But now that, you know, teams are, are actually back to going to visit the white house because we hadn't really seen NBA or, or NFL, uh, teams, Going or to Major the, League Baseball. Major League or, Baseball didn't go for a while either. Yeah, or Major League <laughs> Baseball. So we kind of lost. I think the, the last team that I remember going to the White House, I believe, was Clemson uh, when they won the national championship. And, and uh, I remember Donald Trump had gave them the, the was it, McNuggets and, and, and – uh, yeah, he, he, <laughs> gave, he, gave him number, he gave him the number six. <laughs> yeah. He gave him the number six, man. It was a whole bunch of Big Macs uh, <laughs> on the tables, <laughs> <laughs> for Clemson when they again a, a they lack went. of class a, a complete lack hey. of class. you know but hey. you brought up something that I think would be a good idea right we know after you serve your two terms you you can't run for office specifically presidential office again right yeah but players from all walks of life from every sport love Obama Obama should be the official sports ambassador of the White House so when I'm you come happy. in when you come in right for your for your visit your championship visit Obama's the guy that you speak to. You know what I'm saying? He's like your liaison there. I like that idea. I like that you idea. Chop it up with Obama. You know what I'm saying? He maybe take you to the White House court, play around the horse or something, or throw the football on the front lawn. You know what I'm saying? And I think, Obama I think he should probably, be a part of that. He's probably the last person that could probably actually get out there. Obviously, he's not on A level, but right. he's got a little jump shot. He can get out there and like you. I didn't think Trump was gonna be out there shooting. You know, with the nah, nah, Trump. Obama and, was there. And, and, he and, definitely and, and, did it. And 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 I apologize if I offended anyone. We can't run the risk of Biden being out there doing. Oh any no, of those Joe activities. Biden definitely cannot be on the court. Trying we to cannot forward. run the risk of you doing <laughs> any of those activities. <laughs> yeah, uh, we <laughs> Obama. I think Obama. We found your new role. You need to be yes. the official sports ambassador of the country. Every time a, a, a championship team comes in, they meet with you. They sit down with you. They get the photo out with you. They exchange jerseys with you. Yeah, well, you know what? Let me not say because Kamala Harris, she might have a jump shot. She might be able to run and get a hoop on. You know, she's young enough, so she might have to do it for Joe Biden in, in this situation if they wanted to pick up game. I need, I need somebody need to find the footage. If she got some footage out there, then then we will approve her application to be the sports ambassador. But we've already seen Obama's footage. No, no, it's definitely it's, Obama. But she could be there. like she could be the VP to the sports ambassador. True. You True. know what I'm saying? So. so yeah. Shout out to Kamala Harris and President Biden and the entire Bucks organization on uh, winning winning that championship last year. 